What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, it's your homie, Futuristic Mike, and I'm back with another Power Book 3 Raising Canaan video. Now, we gotta talk about Detective Howard thinking that he's Canaan's father. If you're a fan of power, if you love power, hit the like on this video. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're finding me, subscribe and turn on those post notifications so when I post videos on Power Book 3 Raising Canaan, you get them. Now, in the last episode, when Detective Howard brought Kanan in, you know, he was asking Kanan questions. Kanan wasn't cooperating at all. Kanan said he doesn't have anything to say until his peoples get there. He was not trying to talk until his uncles got there or somebody because we know he wasn't calling his mom. But Symphony shows up and Symphony says to Detective Howard, man, you guys be bringing in black kids for nothing every single day and he grabbed Kanan up and he took him up out of there and when Kanan and Symphony left we seen Detective Howard looking on the computer and he was looking at DEFCON's history you know his rap sheet and stuff like that he was trying to figure out when he was in prison and everything and I was just thinking to myself like why is he looking this up but we find out at the end of the episode exactly why he did that because Kanan told Detective Howard his birthday. So he put two and two together. And we see him go to see Rock at the end of the episode. He's outside of Rock's house. And he goes up to Rock. And he tells her what he figured out. What he put together. And he said, you know, Kanan told me his birthday. And everything makes sense now. He's like, I think I knew all along. But I didn't say nothing. I kept it quiet. And I kept it to myself. So the fact that Kanan told him his birthday and the fact that DEFCON was in jail when he was, Detective Howard put everything together and he thought Kanan was older than he was. You know, he thought Kanan was 16 years old, but he's only 15. So all this is making sense now, man. Everything's tracking back to when Detective Howard was messing with Rock. And I'm sure we'll find out a lot more about that. But Rock did not deny it. She just pretty much told him to stay away from Kanan. And that right there confirmed that Kanan is Detective Howard's son. Now, we don't really know what happens to Detective Howard. Kanan never talked about his father in Power Book 1. So we don't know what happens to Detective Howard at all, man. It might not be good. I mean, Kanan might end up killing him. Maybe Rock ends up killing him. Who knows? But we do know that... Um, Detective Howard is not going to be on the show forever, man. Something is definitely going to happen to him. I mean, on this show, something happens to everybody eventually. There is no happy endings in this show. But we know since Detective Howard is a cop, if Kanan finds out that's his father, he's not really going to want nothing to do with him anyways due to the fact that he's a cop. You know, Kanan and his family don't mess with cops. So it's going to be hard to have a relationship. But we don't know anything about Kanan's father. So if Detective Howard really is Kanan's father, we're going to find out a lot more about his real dad. You know, we thought DEFCON was his dad. We're just going to find out more and more as the season goes on and as the series goes on. Hopefully, Detective Howard makes it out of season one. But we just got to wait and see. But it's crazy that he possibly might be Kanan's father. I just had to make a quick video about it. What do you guys think about Detective Malcolm Howard being Kanan's father? Comment your thoughts down below and let me know what you think of him being Kanan's father. What are your theories, thoughts, predictions, and everything else? Keep supporting your boy, and I'll be continuing to bring y'all Power Book 3 Raising Kanan content in the future. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and smash that notification bell so you can never miss a video. If you guys want to donate to the channel, I got links below to the PayPal and Cash App accounts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me get out of here, y'all. It's your boy, Futuristic Mike, and I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.